Hey guys, Spina Dude here, and today we're looking at something really awesome. Marvin, bring it out. Thank you, Marvin. <coughs> today, guys, we are looking at this. It's my first ever Safari Limited tube that I've ever owned. And I, th I thought these were all really interesting. And uh, I was out in the store the other day and decided to pick one up because I saw one. And uh, I think that it looks great. This is their prehistoric, light, prehistoric sea life tube. And I thought we'd take a look, uh, closer look at all of these individually. So yeah, why don't we go ahead and start unboxing them and see what's inside. Before we start taking them out, I want to take a look at the packaging quickly. You can see at the top Safari Limited logo, ages three plus. You can see prehistoric sea life tube here. And there's a warning for a choking hazard for small parts, not for children under three years. And then on this side, it has a little a little fact here. It says hand painted all of their social media. It says, did you know prehistoric marine reptiles existed in all shapes and sizes? Many marine reptiles still have the efficient body shapes of their ancestors in three different languages there. And on the back, it has some licensing things. It says lead, lead free. And there's 10 pieces of this, 10 creatures you get in this entire thing. And on the bottom here, it says learn about this replica and more by clicking on at safarilimited.com. So I guess you click that symbol down there. So anyway guys, let's get cracking and get these creatures out of the packaging. All right guys, so I'm just gonna reach in randomly to get our first creature and we'll see which one comes out. We'll take a closer look at it first. And it's this guy, this is the Mitriorhynchus. Let's start taking a closer look at him. Mitriorhynchus is a seagoing crocodile from the late Jurassic period and it's presented here really nicely. Maybe a little bit too fat, I have to say, but nonetheless really great sculpt on this uh, small scale and I love the paint scheme. So let's take a closer look quickly. Starting off at the head sculpt there, you can see a really crocodilian looking head. And uh, these are made out of the same material as our bigger models, it's just they're a lot thinner so they're quite bendy in some areas. But that gives a nice little feel to them and you can see he has a glossy black eye there. Some gold highlights give some sort of a wet look, I like that the shiny wet look. He's got like an orangey tan underbelly, it says Safari Limited Mitriorhynchus underneath and some nice pebbly skin details and uh, paddle-like fins on the side. Really nice fan-like tail on the end there. I like that feature a lot. And uh, you can bend this a little bit if you want to for play features for all the little kids watching. Uh, more of a pebbly skin there, a big bump there with some gold paint on it. And uh, back up to the head sculpt that we saw earlier. All the teeth are packed in quite closely, but really done really well for such a creature at such a small scale. All right, let's reach in again and see what's the next one that we get. So, oh, this is the Ichthyosaurus. Here is the Ichthyosaurus. Now, this was a fish-like marine reptile that lived in the late Jurassic period, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, it was quite a fat animal, but here it's, it's uh, really thin for some reason. But I like the color scheme, the hand painting, the brushing of the olive paint against the yellow is really nice. Uh, I really like this a lot, so why don't we go ahead and take a closer look at him. Starting off at the head sculpt, you can see a really almost dolphin looking head there with a very long uh, snout. This is very pliable as always, but it doesn't really work out like an articulated jaw. You can see the uh, glossy black eye there and the wrinkles in the skin. Uh, the head is attached a little bit oddly to the body, but um, I, think it's, I think it works out okay for the scale it's at. You can see the paddle-like fins there on the side, the shark-like dorsal fin on top, and you can see the tail on the back there. Nice color scheme with the yellow and the olive green on the back, and then you can see the tan underbelly. And on the underbelly it just says Safari Limited Ichthyosaurus. Very nice. I like this one quite a bit. All right, moving on. Let's see what our next one is that we get. Pull it out. Oh, this is the Tylosaurus. Now, Tylosaurus was the biggest species of Mosasaur discovered yet, or the longest, I should say, reaching in at about 60 feet long, which is really massive. It lived in the late Cretaceous period and swam alongside creatures such as Dolly Carinchops that it ate. So why don't we take a closer look at this guy. Starting off at the head sculpt, you can see that for the scale it's at, the details packed in here are really great. Look at the scale detail, you even have the fleshy part of the skin holding the jaws together, the nostril detail, really crocodilian looking head, especially with this bright green color scheme, it looks really uh, crocodilian. Maybe a little bit too bright of a green, but I think it still looks good, especially for being a mini 
almost cartoony. You see the inside of the mouth has been sculpted and painted at such a small scale as well. And the uh, mouth is a little bit bendy as well as the flippers and the tail. And we'll get to that in a second. You can see the teeth are packed together really closely, but that's something that can't be helped because it's such a small uh, creature uh, presented here. You can see that is a nice streamlined body for swimming efficiently. Uh, the front flippers are green, the back flippers are like that orangey uh, tan color. You can see like a almost vein of skin running through the back there. Flip it over to this side, you can see the tail is really bendy on the back. And moving down the body, you can see the other flippers. Really nice pose, really nice posing position, I like that. On the other belly here, it just says Tylosaurus from Safari Limited. And yeah, and there's the other side of that head sculpt there. It has some gold spots as well on the side. Uh, gives it a genuine wet look almost. All right, let's reach in and see which one we get next. So I have one here. Oh, and this is the Elasmosaurus. Here is the Elasmosaurus, which was a giant plesiosaur from the late Cretaceous period. Uh, this is one's probably my least favorite out of this whole box set, the tube, because it's just uh, so simple. It's just all gray, has some uh, splotches of paint which look almost like like accidents on it for some reason and the head is done it seems like it was this one was seemed like it was rushed almost but let's take a closer look anyway well there's the head sculpt but not much to see up there just two blotches of black paint to represent the eyes and it's just all gray um, I think the sculpt is nice like the shaping but it's just there's no detail at all so there's nothing really to look at on this one just some splotches of paint it seems almost messy uh, maybe I just got a bad one from the batch or something, but I don't know. It just seems like uh, there could have been more to this one, in my opinion. See underneath, just a Safari Limited Elasmosaurus. Um, but yeah, that's the Elasmosaurus. Uh, probably my least favorite out of all these, like I said. All right, let's reach in and see which one we get next. So uh, if I can get these to move down a little bit so I can grab them. Let's see which one we get. Ah, this is the Basilosaurus. Now here's the Basilosaurus, which is a giant carnivorous whale that lived after the dinosaurs. Uh, this looks great. I think I think the color scheme is great on this one. Let's take a closer look quickly. Starting off with the head sculpt, you can see the glossy black eye and all the teeth packed together there. Unfortunately, there was some white paint that got onto like the cheek areas and underneath the eye. But since these are hand painted, it's something that can't really be helped because they're so very small. The interior of the mouth couldn't have been painted either just because there's no room to get a brush in there. You can see the underneath is like a yellowy tan color and then the rest of the body is in like a, um, it's very smooth, there's not really much detail in this one but the paint is what makes up for it because it's in this blue color scheme with these olive green uh, detailing. You can see the little fin on the back there and the two smaller fins. I, sorry but I don't know the names of those on whales. Uh, but they pectoral fins or something? I don't know but here's the tail. Really nicely shaped, really looks really whale-like. And yeah, flip them over quickly. You see the other side. The camera focus. There we go. Yeah, Basil Basilosaurus. It's the only creature featured in the set that has um, that lived after the dinosaurs. So yeah, pretty cool. All right, let's reach in and see which one we get next. So. Yeah, uh, here we go. This is the frilled shark. Now guys, this is something you can help me with because I know nothing about the frilled shark. I've seen some pictures of it. I've heard about it, but I literally know nothing about it. So if you want to tell me some about this animal, feel free to leave a comment down below. Um, I'm open to hearing about it. So yeah, leave a comment. Let's take a closer look at him. Starting off at the head sculpt, you can see that the teeth are the same color as the skin. That's because that they're so inward inside the skull, they probably couldn't get a brush in there without messing up the rest of the mouth. But I think it works out all right. You have the glossy black eye, which works out really well on this one. It looks really lifelike in my opinion. You can see the nostril areas carved out there. The big uh, frills for the, uh, almost looks like a Dilophosaurus shark like it's gonna spit acid at you or something from Jurassic Park. Uh, you can see the frills there, which are almost like, I think that was probably the gills from the animal. You can see the flippers there. It doesn't have a dorsal fin really, it's, although it's a frilled shark. Um, you can see it has a little fin here. The tail is uh, different. Reminds me almost of like a thresher shark or something. So uh, yeah, on the belly it just says Safari Limited uh, Frilled Shark. Flip over to this side. See, it's a consistent color scheme, tan and brownish colors. 
really nice though. I like the look of this one, although I don't know much about the animal itself. All right, let's reach in and see which one we get next. So, oh, this one's one of my favorites. It's Nothosaurus. All right, here is the Nothosaurus. And just look at the detailing of the scales on this one. It's such a small scale of the model. It's just beautiful and the color scheme is great. Great job, Safari Limited. Uh, so Nothosaurus was a marine going reptile. Come out on land as well. It was almost like a crocodilian. I'm not sure of exactly of its family, like suborders and everything, but I know it was a reptile lived in the late Jura Triassic period. So let's take a closer look quickly. Starting off at the head sculpt, you can see all the teeth on this one. It really looks menacing there. And uh, I like the eye and the glossy black paint as usual. You can see the uh, the shape of the skull is scientifically accurate as well. Very nice, which is hard to get at such a small scale. And you can see the scales are beautiful. They had like a darker blue color as the base and they painted the light blue over it. That was just, that was great. Great job and I love these uh, smooth stripes of skin going along the body, which most reptiles have. You can see the paddle-like hands there. Absolutely beautiful. And you can see the back fin there. On the belly it just says Safari Limited Nothosaurus. Uh, consistent color scheme. I love the pose. Look at that pose. Oh, that's so great. Wouldn't it be great to have a, a bigger Safari Limited Mose, uh, Nothosaurus? That would be awesome. See the other uh, paddles there, the fins, and then just hooks right around. I almost like this side better on the skull than this side. That looks great. Wow, great jobs on this one, Safari Limited. I love this one. All right, let's see which one we get next. So, I'm starting gonna have to start knocking these down a little bit. All right, let's see, this is the Henotus. Now here is the Henotus, which was a turtle-like creature that lived in the late Triassic period. It lived alongside the Nothosaurus, actually. And this one's shell is absolutely beautiful at such a small scale. Wow, I'm really impressed with the shell on this one, so let's take a closer look. Starting off with the head sculpt, you can see it almost has a snapping turtle look to it with the way the skin is textured. Uh, really nice. It almost looks like he's smiling. He's a happy Henotis there. <laughs> See that they've made sure to show where the shell is around the animal. That, that's a tongue twister. Made sure to show where the shell is around the animal. <laughs> Try to say that five times fast. You can See one leg is sort of bent around the bottom of the shell. The other one is a uh, more has its foot on the ground. The bottom of the shell is not as detailed, just as Safari Limited had noticed there. You can see the other uh, feet sticking out from the other part of the shell, as well as the long tail. The tail had some spines on it there uh, on the back. And this is what I love is the shell on the back here. It feels so nice and smooth. And they had like a yellow base color and then they went over it with this on the sides here with the brown, a little bit of gold even to give it a shiny wet look. And it looks just, just looks great. Fantastic work. Great job Safari Limited. I love this one. All right guys, we have two left. Let's see which one we get out first. Shake, 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 shake it. Uh, there we go. Let's grab this one. And this is the Dolly Karin Cops. Here is the Dolly Karin Cops minifigure. And this one, and Dolly Karin Cops in real life lived in the late Cretaceous period. And it actually lived alongside Tylosaurus, which is one of the minis that we just looked over quickly from the same package. See, this one is quite simple, but it looks good. It reminds me of Bottlenose Dolphin, the colorations. I think it's great, so let's take a close look at this one quick. Starting off with the head sculpt, you can see that this one's head is downright minuscule. They packed in some good detail. You can see it's quite bendy as well as the flippers. Uh, that's just because of how small the model is. You can see the eyes are packed closely together, but from the side, they look uh, all right on both sides. No detailing really on this one, just uh, smooth uh, bottlenose dolphin gray color on the top, and then on the bottom it's all white, and then you can even see it, it's a Safari Limited Dolly Corrine Cops on the bottom there. Not much going on this one, but I like it, because dolphins are one of my favorite living animals today. So yeah, there's the Dolly Corrine Cops. All right guys, we got one more, and I know who it is. It is the Leopluridon. Here's the Leopluridon in hand, and what a menacing looking creature. This was a late Jurassic dwelling marine reptile, lived alongside the Metriorhynchus, which was the first one we got out of the package. It was uh, a really menacing predator. I believed it could grow up to over 35 feet long, which was absolutely huge. And its huge skull helped it devour prey. 
So let's take a closer look quickly. Starting off with the head sculpt, you can see that they couldn't really get any uh, interior mouth uh, detailing in there, but the teeth are packed together, which makes it look a little bit goofy, but that's okay. Uh, it's really small, it makes a great collectible. You can just see how small it is. You can see the eyes in the glossy black paint there. What I love about the color scheme on this one is the light olive green with like the darker forest green with uh, making the highlights all around it. I think that's great. Uh, the, unfortunately, the flap of skin holding the jaw together is in a green color. That might have been nice if it was in like a brown or a, um, a fleshy pink color. You can see the underbelly is in this brighter green color. And on the back of the flipper here, it's a Safari Limited Lyle Pluridon. I think the glossiness of the color scheme on this one gives it a really aquatic look. And I like the wrinkles in the skin as well. And I think it's a good little figure. Alright, time for a size comparison. I've chosen me know the source to measure just for an all-around size or an all-around idea for the size of all of them. So Marvin, bring in the ruler. Thank you, Marvin. And we have our trusty flexi ruler now. Let's see just how big this guy is. Whoop, if he doesn't flop over. There we go. Oh, stop it. There we go, okay. So in terms of the length of these, we're looking at about four inches long, and in terms of the highest point on this one is almost one inch, three quarters of an inch. And for an idea of just how small these figures are, here's the Know the Source with a recently reviewed 1996 Safari Limited Apatosaurus whose head is cut off currently, but if you want to see a review for this guy, the link is down below. Also, here is the mini Nothosaurus with the Safari Limited Capra Sukits, which we are giving away on the channel. Link is down below if you want to see the review for this and the giveaway for this as well. Entry is free and simple if you want to join. Well, there we go, guys. That was today's look at Safari Limited's Prehistoric Sea Life Tube. This is personally the first tube that I've ever owned from them, and I think it was great. I had a lot of fun opening it and taking a look at all the prehistoric sea life that was on the inside. Let me know down below if you want to see more of these reviewed on the channel. Also, as a product, I think all of these are great uh, for the pricing of the tube. I think they're really good quality, especially the Know the Source. That one was my favorite, but unfortunately I was a little bit disappointed with the Elasmosaurus, for example, just because it looked like it was a bit rushed and thrown in at last minute. You know what would be cool? Is if they did blind bags where you could get one random uh, one random prehistoric figure out of each one, because they have other tubes. Well, anyway, guys, I hope you have enjoyed, and leave a comment down below and subscribe and I'll see you next time.